Now, right, everyone, welcome back to Hacksplain. Today, we're going to have a look at the login bender challenge. And the description is relatively short right now. It only says login with bender's user account. And we know that in order to log in, we have to go up here, account, and click on login. And standing at the email address and password field, First of all, we have to figure out what the email address of Bender is. And if we do not know that by now, we can just refresh the page and look at Burp. And we do see that there is a REST endpoint called REST admin application configuration. And if we look at the response, there is a domain in here, uh, right up here, which says juice minus sh dot op. And that's, that's actually the domain used for all the email addresses. And if you've been following along this playlist, you have seen a couple of other email addresses that we've seen before. So we know anyway that this is what we are going with. And to log in Bender, again, like we've seen in the other uh, videos that usually it's just the first name at domain. So in order to log in Bender, we're going to use Bender at juice minus sh dot op. And then we can try to, well, guess his password saying whatever test and click on login and we're going to see that this is not correct looking at verb we see the post request going out with the email address set to bender at choose minus sh.op and the password set to test as this is not correct we have to find a way around it and actually we already know again from previous challenges that the email feel is vulnerable to a SQL injection attack. And as we have been, well, using a couple of different methods so far to exploit that, I want to show you another one today. And for that, I'm going to use my Kali Linux machine over here. If you don't know how to set it up, I will link a little video in the top right corner where you get to know about that. Anyway, back to Kali Linux. So Kali Linux by default comes with a lot of great tools. And one of them is SQL Map. SQL Map is a SQL injection tool, which makes it easy for you to, well, search for SQL injection vulnerabilities in an application by actually not doing anything. And I want to show you a neat way how we can set up SQL map right now in order to exploit this vulnerability. So we are in this folder and there is nothing special in here. And we do have this request down below here, which we're going to use to, well, search our uh, vulnerable um, field in. And for that, I'm going to copy that entire request. I'm going over here to my Kali machine and I will create a file called login.txt. It doesn't really matter how you call it. So I'll open that up and I will fire in that entire request that I've recorded with Burp Suite right in here. And we do see our vendor email address right in here. And what you can do is you can tell SQL map by inserting the asterisk character that SQL map should fire in its SQL injection payloads right in here. So it will say, all I know about SQL injection payloads is going right in here and we are going to try to, well, attack this application. So with that, I will just click save and I will close that file again we don't need that anymore and i will close my burp suite over here and move this window a little over here 
All right, so let's call SQL map. I'll clear this really quick and say SQL map minus R, which is the command for using a file. And I've called this login txt. And that's it, actually. Let's start SQL map. So you see SQL map starting up, it says, I found an asterisk character in a post body. Do you want to process that? Yes, we do. So we say capital Y and click enter. And then it once again asks you, do you want to process the post body? And we say yes. And interesting, if we look at that, it says critical not authorized, try to provide right HTTP authentication type and valid credentials. And the interesting part here is if we quickly go back to Burp Suite over here, we do see that if the password is not correct, we do get a 401 unauthorized response. And that is something SQL Map doesn't like. However, there is a workaround in built in in SQL map, which still allows us to use it. And this is done by saying, um, well, dash dash, ignore code. And the code that we want to ignore is 401 unauthorized. So let's fire um, SQL map once again against this application. We get the same questions all over again. We say yes and yes again. And interestingly, right now you see the, the green box popping up, telling us that we've solved the error handling challenge. And if you look closely, right now we have the login bender green pop up showing us that we've successfully solved the challenge. And we can just say no down below here in Kali Linux. It's still performing a couple of tests on the right side, but we've actually already solved it. The one minor drawback is that SQL map right now still says that my custom injection field or my um, payload spot is not or doesn't seem to be injectable. And to be honest, I do not know why SQL map is telling me that. If you have an idea, please post it down below in the comments and tell me why it's not telling me that it actually found the SQL injection vulnerability. Because right now it tells me that it hasn't found it, but it actually has found it. And I wanna show you just for the sake of completeness right now, how it actually worked out and um, for that I'm going to use burb again. So let's use that request over here and send this to burb repeater using control R and going back down here to the email. And again, we know that from a previous finding or a previous challenge that we've already solved that the email field is susceptible to a SQL injection um, payload and vulnerability and the only thing we got to do is just using the single quote and dash dash for commenting out the rest of the query and then send this once again to the server and if we look on the right it says well 200 okay which <clears throat> sounds way better than 401 unauthorized and we do get our job token back and yeah, with that, we are logged in as bender at juice-sh.op. All right. I really hope you enjoyed this challenge. If there are any questions left, put them down in the comment section or reach out to me on Twitter. Subscribe in the top right corner and have a great rest of your day.